Yep. All right. No, it's on 17 on the same side. Um, OK, so what we're going to do is try to be able to find the GCF. Remember, remember when trying to find the GCF, what we want to do is find the largest number that divides, or the largest term, that divides into both of your terms. So first thing we want to do is look at our two numbers, compare the numbers. What is the largest number that goes into both of them? right? And what, what I did is I just kind of worked up numbers. You know, you can start as far as like 2. Does 2 divide into both of them? No. Then you can do 3. Does 3 divide into both of them? No. Um, then you can just keep on working your way up, or you can also just work on higher numbers and then work down and see what is the largest number that divides into both of them. And when you do your work, you can figure out that 17 is the largest number that divides into both of those terms. Now let's go and look at the variables. Because remember, we need to see what variables um, divide into both of them, or what is the variable at the largest degree that divides into both of them. So what the best way to kind of do this without like kind of a full understanding of division of exponents, look at the degrees of your exponent. And really, your smaller degree is going to be the largest. You can't divide into a degree larger than um, the smallest one. So therefore, the GCF for my x variable is going to be x. My y's both have an exponent of 1. So therefore, that's going to be y. And then I have a z squared and a z squared. So the largest variable for z that divides into both of them is z squared. OK? Any questions? Because I can't say x squared, because x squared does, can't divide into 1, or x to the first power. Yes. OK? Yes? Question? OK. What I'm going to do.